You are listening and watching to a very special podcast, continuing where we left off in Chloe Burchard's point of view. Enjoy. Chloe was muttering to herself as she was getting ready. Okay, so I got the wig on, it's in a ponytail, no strands of my hair showing, just need to add a little bit of scratch marks. Man, I can't believe I'm using this makeup to do this. Uh, but it's just like in the tutorial. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I really look gruesome. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Okay, I got the fake um, marks, like dirt marks. Uh, yeah, I'm all ready. <laughs> then she heard a knock on the door. She could hear Gorecki's voice say, Hey, are you about done? Yeah, I'm, I'm done. She opened the door. Then she let out a dramatic pose and said, What do you think? You look kind of messed up. <laughs> I know, that's part of the whole survivor thing. Action survivor. Wah! <laughs> you know, Usopp and Chopper are going to get really upset that you didn't go for the other costume. So? I like this costume. <laughs> this is where it's the rise of a Tomb Raider. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she starts off just a fresh college girl, and then all of a sudden she gets stranded on an island, and yada 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 yada. That whole thing. Gorecki nodded. Hmm. Then she looked down at Gorecki and said, So, you're going as the rabbit? Is that an issue with you? He asked. No, it's cute. He reacted to it. <laughs> Come on, humor with me. Then they left for the convention. Sure enough, Usopp and Chopper were still bummed. I can't believe you didn't even choose this outfit we got for you, Usopp whined. It was so cool, and it was so cute. Guys, I'm not into the whole cutesy, okay? And besides, won't you explain why it was so skimpy for the skirt line? That's when Usopp looked a bit mischievous. Oh! Oops, we should have ordered a longer one. Uh-huh, you wanted to see my panty shot so bad. I bet Brooke even convinced you, didn't he? But Brooke just let out his, yo -ho -ho -ho. No, no, why would I do such a thing? I would never do such a thing like that. yo -ho -ho -ho. Right, says the skeleton man who says, May I see your panties? May I see your panties? Don't even think about asking any of these cosplayer girls. If you do, and if one of them actually flashes at you, I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh my god. Chloe said, Oh, I'll be on my best behavior. If you tried any any assault charges, I swear I'm coming over there. No, 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 no. That won't be necessary. I'll be sure to leave you. Ooh! Look at all of them. I wonder if I can see their panties. Not in this life. Usa, Chopper, keep an eye on Brooke. <sighs> Man. She was walking ahead, and she could see there was a contest going on. Oh, goody. A contest, huh? I wonder who's gonna win. Yukio appeared next to her and said, You're not seriously gonna wear this outfit, right? It's just a simple wardrobe, but it's nothing. Are those real scratch marks? Eh, I use makeup. Pretty cool how makeup can really do something to you. Wow, they look real. Yeah, don't worry, I didn't cut myself, okay? Hmm. 
You know, you're taking this in a really good light. Yeah, I'm just kind of bummed about the whole beach incident. But hey, go with the flow. That's all that matters. However, happiness was interrupted by the stage of Tommy, who shot one of the contestants and the announcer and also made his debut, but he also made his escape. Chloe couldn't believe it. I thought Barrera told us that Tommy was dead. How was he still alive and what the hell happened to his face? She wondered. Barrera felt really guilty. That's when it hit Chloe. Oh, I can see why. She didn't want us to know how badly scarred. What happened? How? Who would even scarred him? Would, would Barrera? She thought, no, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna ask. Chloe had to get down there and help the people. But during this time, the announcer was okay, especially one of the contestants. However, things got really worse when now there's a new breed of monsters in town. And it was none other than Type 2 Infestations, a second generation of infestations. And boy, did things were about to get worse from here. Chloe groaned. Oh, you gotta be kidding. There's a new Type 2 Infestation? Oh no, 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 no. I'm not going through this again. Never ever in my entire life will I have to deal with this bullshit. Why, 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 why? She leaned back in her chair. Oh, man. Even the rest weren't even impressed with this. What? More of these things? Come on. What's the difference between type 2? I don't get it, Gareki was saying. Well, I heard that these ones are really much more faster. That's when Gareki's face dropped. Gajio groaned. Oh, great. Now we gotta watch our backs. Don't worry. We got our own famous agents here who's gonna help us out. I don't even know if I'm ever gonna take these guys on. I don't know if your magic's gonna do anything. You really are getting pessimistic, aren't you? Well, we don't know who's creating these things. Wait a second. Could these monsters have come from the people that were f victims of the beach? That's when everyone fell into shock. Usopp and Chopper were freaking out, going all over the place and frantic. Yukio was speechless. Gareki was trembling. Sanji's cigarette fell to the ground. Frankie couldn't even believe it. Oh no, he groaned. Oh dear, Brooke remarked. It seems we have something up at hand. I don't think this is going to end well. <sighs> no, it's not. We are in deep, deep crap now. <sighs> she leaned back in her chair and crossed her legs. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know what we're going to do, but it's not going to end pretty. Not likely. Even Barnaby couldn't believe this. Ugh. Didn't we already took out these things? Yeah, we did, but now it looks like somebody made a new batch, but now he's calling it Type 2. Even if these things are fast, I doubt it's not going to be any good. That's when Chloe's ears perked up when she heard Barrera was talking with someone. She peeked around, and then the next thing she knew, she saw Barrera going with some guy. This guy looked pretty a bit stiff. He had a British accent 
and well, he had bags under his eyes as if he hasn't slept in days. Chloe was confused. It was until then Jennifer came beside her and said, Oh geez, that must be the inspector. The, the what? We have an inspector in DWC? Well, we did, but we never really realized it. He hasn't been working on special cases. Now that he's around, well, looks like we're in for it. Or Barrera is. What could Barrera do something terrible? Haven't you heard? There's some infestation eating each other. Chloe nearly let her heart sink. What? What? No. Somebody is cannibalizing their own adversary? Are you kidding? Jennifer shook her head. Nope. There's actually something of an exterminator. That's what they're calling it now. Oh, crap. That doesn't sound good. Nope. But, who knows, maybe it might be on our side, Jennifer said, hopefully. <sighs> hopefully. I doubt things aren't going to go good. Little did Chloe know, things weren't going to be worse after all. It might be better, but also, it could be interesting. Well, my folks, thank you for listening and watching. That's it. We got more coming your way. I'm Katherine Donovan, and I'll see you next time.